Good evening, everybody. Welcome back from the Nebraska State Fair. Having a ball once again. A little uh, sticky out here. Of course, we'd expect that with State Fair weather, and we're talking severe weather. Not a good way to kick off the first day of this uh, fair, but nevertheless, we do have to deal with it. Uh, luckily, as we get through the weekend, uh, those severe thunderstorm chances will wane. Here's a look at Doppler 5 live radar. You can see one severe thunderstorm warning uh, until 6.30 tonight, and of course, uh, with about another 17 minutes, and it's uh, the northern part of Phillips County and also the southern half of Harlan County, and that's in south central Nebraska. Storm just kind of barely moving to the north at about five miles per hour. Heavy rain, obviously, the main thing. Also, large hail about to the size of golf balls and damaging wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. All those counties shaded in pink are under a severe thunderstorm watch until 11 o'clock tonight. It does include Hall County, it does include Adams County, although we are in the eastern edge of it. The best chances for severe weather as we get through time in about the next uh, three, four, five hours will really remain to the west of us, but that doesn't uh, mean we won't have a chance for severe weather. So let's take a look at the current readings uh, temperature-wise, and of course, very warm, muggy day. We've had temperatures mostly in the 80s and 90s throughout the day, and obviously that's still where we are as uh, been a little better uh, readings coming in in the panhandle, Katie. Of course, that rain cool there out there. <laughs> would you rather have the 60s and 70s out there, or would you rather have, or would you rather have these? Do you like these sticky dew points? I We're in the 70s here. Go down a little bit. Well, yeah, and it, when, we always talk about when those dew points get into the upper 60s to low 70s, it's downright oppressive, and it kind of yes. feels that way, doesn't it? Yes, don't I had you to wish we were do, Don't you wish we were doing that ice bucket challenge tonight, <laughs> no, rather than a couple nights ago? Sounds amazing. Right well, now. you know what? It's going to stay that way as we get into the overnight. We'll be in the low 60s, but with the humidity, it's going to feel warmer than that. We're going to keep the showers and thunderstorms around overnight. It'll be a little breezy. So I think as we get into the latter part of the evening and overnight, it'll turn into mostly a heavy rain event quarter, half inch, heavier amounts with some of the stronger thunderstorms. Other than that, I think that thunderstorm, severe thunderstorm chance will start to diminish. But overall, tomorrow, we'll start off in the 70s. By early afternoon, we'll be already in the mid-80s. It'll be humid, breezy. We'll see almost 90 degrees by the latter part of the afternoon. And then tomorrow evening, we'll still be in the 80s with uh, temperatures uh, around the area topping off up to the north. We'll be in those uh, mostly upper 80s to low 90s. And uh, we'll have a chance for a late afternoon, early evening shower thunderstorm for Ainsworth or O'Neill. Down in the southwest, we'll see partly sunny skies, chances of, uh, of afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms, breezy as well. Warmer, though, in the uh, low 90s. Here at home, right around the Tri Cities, we'll be right uh, close to that 90 degree mark where we'll have uh, gusty winds throughout the day. We'll start off uh, with a light breeze, and then the winds will build in. Upper 90s in northern Kansas, and uh, back to the east, our friends watching in Lincoln, Crete, Beatrice over York will be in the low to mid 90s as well. Seven-day forecast shapes up like this. You can see those temperatures kind of slowly cooling day by day getting through the weekend. We'll keep chances for at least evening to overnight showers and thunderstorms. As we get into next week, we'll have some cooler air ushering into the area as we get into Wednesday and Thursday. How about knocking back to the 70s? That's a nice <laughs> way as we start to get to the second half of the state fair. Although, and we will start to dry off. We'll have settled weather conditions. What a better forecast as we start to inch closer to the first week of college football, the first Saturday, and the Nebraska Cornhuskers and whoever else. I know you're a Buffalo fan, but they don't <laughs> even have course, a football yes. team anymore, do they? I know. Let's not I'm talk sorry. about that. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. But, you know, nevertheless, football. It's just we're at the State Fair. We're talking football, right? Those 70s sound really good, oh, but yeah. yes. Oh, that would be, if it was mid-70s at, at Husker State, wouldn't that be phenomenal? Yes, it'd be nice right now. Phenomenal right now, too. Phenomenal I do have right to now. say thank you, though. I asked you to make sure those storms wouldn't affect our broadcast tonight, so... You held them off a little bit. Yeah, it was, and it always looked like it'd be the southwestern part of the viewing yeah. area. We'd get it first, which they are, but there was a little concern we might get a couple isolated storms here, and luckily that didn't happen, so you're welcome. We got lucky. Thank <laughs> you so much, Tim. Well, coming up next, she was one of the leaders in the push to move the Grand Island or the State Fair to Grand Island. We sit down with Cindy Johnson, the president of the Grand Island Chamber of Commerce, next. And later, it's move-in day for those college kids at Hastings College. It's time. And this year, there are more students than ever before. News 5 at 6, live at the Nebraska State Fair. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. I'm on the north end of the Nebraska State Fairgrounds here, right by the FFA Exhibition Building. You know my friend here, Liz Dorland from the American Red Cross. Liz? Okay, I'm donning on the Red Cross shirt, so I am now official volunteer. You are. I'm helping out around here tomorrow, which is at this tent right behind us. Right. What can I expect tomorrow? What's happening? 
So welcome to the Red Cross. I welcomed you, you last night, and as you can see, he is official. Got the Red Cross polo on. And so tomorrow, Tim, your first assignment will be to be Scrubby Bear. So tomorrow here at the tent, he will be joining all of our Red Cross volunteers, and he will be in Scrubby Bear out uniform. So what you're doing, you're going to be talking with kids about how to wash your hands. We have this really cool thing that you're going to do. It's called germ juice. And we put it on people's hands and show how to wash. And so very interactive, great way. For the weather to guy and germ juice. I'm not sure. Well, you know, if you, hopefully you'll learn something. Okay, too. park it right there just for a second because okay. I want to take a look at radar because one of your other hats is as obviously yeah. the severe weather and of course you've done weather before so you know this is old hat for you and if we look at Doppler 5 live radar real quick we have some severe weather just out of the viewing area right around Hayes, Kansas that's pushing up to the north so we want to take a moment just to point out to have your disaster plan in place right Liz because large hail damage winds maybe an isolated tornado as we get through the evening want to have a, an opportunity to keep yourself and your family safe right? Absolutely you want to make sure to have that disaster preparedness kit ready to go because even though thunderstorms even if they don't produce a tornado can still be very damaging and life threatening at times. Absolutely and we will keep thunderstorm chances in the forecast over the next seven days. How about okay right now we're in the 80s and 90s around the state. How about some upper 70s to low 80s next week? I'm all over it. You're <laughs> all over on it? the cooler temperatures. Well, you'll probably be gone by then but you're welcome to stick around if you want. We'll be here all week next week. Okay, so we're in the tent, and you can find it right here by the FFA Exhibition Building. It's right in between that and the outdoor learning area. Okay, so what kind of activities? And really the big push out of this is also to get more volunteers, which we've been talking about last night, like me, only hopefully better. Well, we, we love having you here with us as a new volunteer, but we are looking for people who want to get involved with the American Red Cross, and there are many different areas that you can do that. The best way to get started is to visit our website. That's redcross.org, mm -hmm. the backslash, N-E-I-A. There's one simple click. It takes you to a new page. You're registered as a new volunteer. You can also come out here and see us, see me, or you can see Jeff. We're going to get you recruiting volunteers as okay. well. Okay, and we'll have one more hit before we end the newscast. We're going to go have a little fun at the fair, and we'll take the camera with us. And just to remind the folks at 10, barring severe weather, Liz will be accepting the, the uh, ice bucket challenge. The ice bucket. I've been called out twice while I've been here. Some people have said that. I saw you on TV last night. All right. We'll be back in a few minutes. I think we're going to send it back to Katie, so can't wait for this ice bucket challenge. I <laughs> can. Thank you both so much. All right, guys, here we are. We got Ed Littler here, the Love legend it. of the Nebraska State Fair, taking our little uh, uh, sky ride here. And uh, we're headed this way. So we just got on, Ed. So yeah. we're, we've got about seven minutes across. Oh, yeah. So uh, obviously, we're looking back this way and uh, looking to the north. So we're headed southbound. Sky is looking a little ominous, but uh, the weather is okay for now. It's actually cooled down. Okay, so we got the food over here. We got, uh, okay, so uh, look on the left, Ed. Yep. What do you want to, what's your first place you want to eat here? Oh, goodness gracious. Well, Valentino's would be okay. Okay, that's uh, pizza. I'm not really great on some of the food fare. You know, a cold drink is great. Lemonade, I know we had a lemonade before, Tim, you were kind enough to get me one. And anything cold on a day like today would be wonderful. And you know, the hot food I would stay away from today because it's such a, a warm day. You probably won't be able to. They probably want to hear me. No, that's okay. Hey, all right. So we got Pizza Hut here, yep. followed by we got the lattes and smoothies, corn dogs, Chris uh, Chris Chris Young, Chris Young, who's going to be playing tonight, country yep. act. We got the Slush Factory, yep. Outlaw Fries. That looks good. Papa John's, Greek foods. Beef Sunday, yep. Favorite of Chris Shook, I believe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sunday. He okay. ate that last year. Okay, so, you know, this is my fair and my first fair, so help me out. We got the sheet bar yep. barn over here on the right. Five Points Bank Arena, where uh, many uh, great things happen, obviously, and all of these buildings uh, with different displays that they have, and, and just a uh, great time. All right, for let's, let's have fun for it with some people. Hey, everybody, wave your live on TV. You're live on News Channel 5. Wave. Hello. Hi guys. Hello down there. How all right, are you? So, all right, so we're still rolling. On, yeah. how, how much time do we have left? We've got a minute, minute and a half, I'm going to assume. Okay, so, hey, guess what's up there, Ed? Yes. It's the beer garden. The beer garden. I'm you, sure that probably I'm, wouldn't interest you any, would it? Not me, but a favorite of many people that I know would love to be there at this moment. Okay. And I'm sure it's very crowded. Okay, so we challenged each other at the 5 o'clock. Right. You, and you challenged me to what? 
I guess the shooting contest. The shooting? Is, where, yes, we're. Uh, it's back up there. Building, right. Okay, so that I have to do that by Monday. So okay. Monday afternoon we'll go shoot that. Okay. And I challenge you to ride one of those rides. I'll do. That. I know you're afraid I'll of heights. Yeah. I'm so afraid. I'll, I'll tell well, you what. I'm up here, wait, hey, wave to that camera right yeah. there because you're live right now. I'm not that afraid of heights. I'm up here now. Okay, so See? we'll pick the ride, and I won't okay. be too hard on you, okay. right? Okay. And if it's not a spinning ride. I'll do it with you. The Ferris wheel looks fine to me. But you got to shoot with me too. I'll do that. All right. I'll do that. All right. Again. So we're headed this way. So we've got the arena, and then we've got more food over. How about a funnel cake? Uh, no. For somebody too, else. But too fattening for your girlish figure. Well, yeah, it's too much sweets. Okay. All right. So we got to check and see how we're doing time rise here. So uh, looking back to the north, looking to the south. On yeah, the look, at, look at all these tents. Look at all these people. How exciting is it to be here at the 2014 Nebraska State Fair? Anyone within the sound of my voice should definitely come out here because uh, if you don't, you'll miss out on a great time. Are we going to have to get you a tranquilizer? You're getting kind of excited. I don't want you falling off here. No, I won't do that. So once again, Katie's missing out on all the fun. We're, geez, what are we, 50 feet up? Okay, don't jump, all right? No, I'll all promise. right, I don't want you to do that. I promise. So, Anyway, I think we got to be wrapping it up here. So we're live from the Nebraska State Fair. We'll have we'll wrap up the newscast coming up. We'll yep. set to break, guys. Welcome back, everyone. We're here live at the Nebraska State Fair, and of course, Tim and Ed having fun on the Sky Tram. They're still out there, so we'll take a look at your weather forecast for the rest of the night. See if I can give you a quick forecast here. Haven't looked at much of the models, but we'll see. I do know we have some storms out there, and some of those have been severe tonight. As you can see, most of the severe weather has been in southwest Nebraska, just south of North Platte there, and then southwest of McCook. We are seeing some severe thunderstorm warnings in effect. It looks like that one, I think, is in effect until 7 o'clock, both of those, so until the top of the hour. But as long as those storms stay strong, I would imagine they'll deliver more severe thunderstorm warnings as they continue to move off. And here in our area, we're still dry at this point here down at the fair. The big story, of course, the heat, heat and humidity. Seeing a lot of that here, but those storms will be here later in the evening tonight. Let's take a look at your seven-day forecast. Tomorrow, we're going to be near 90 degrees, 30% chance for storms late in the night. And then we drop into the mid-80s on Sunday, and temperatures look much better as we head towards the next week, especially if you're going to be out here at the fair when we'll be in the upper 70s. So that wraps it up for us. Here's a live look at the fair from the SkyTram. We'll see it right back here at 10 o'clock.